Okay. Uh, I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Paprika? Paprika? I, I, I just think you could use a little eh, color. Color? Hmm. the escape plan guess what in order to free up your younger self to complete the rocket drill i'm gonna have to serve my own grandfather with a subpoena great scott actually his name's arthur he's kid tannen's accountant marty whatever you do it's vitally important that you don't alter your grandfather's future in any meaningful way the consequences could be catastrophic i know got it Where have you been all this time? I missed you. I missed you too, Marty. But I thought it was important to let you live your own life for a while, free from the insanity of time travel. I gotta admit, it was nice to not have my family history blowing up in my face for a few months. Besides, I've been busy raising my own unpredictable teenagers. So how are Clara and the kids? They're fine, fine. Right now we're trying to decide where to send Jules and Vern to college. Clara prefers the 2020s, but I'm partial to the 1960s. We're planning on visiting you and Jennifer in 2011 soon. Me and Jennifer? In 2011? Oh, forget I said anything. Where'd the DeLorean come from? The last time I saw it had been smashed to pieces by a train. It's a fantastic story. Do you remember when the DeLorean got struck by lightning in 1955? Yeah. Unbeknownst to either of us, the lightning produced a temporal duplicate of the time machine, one that was tossed 70 years into the future. What? I found out about it during a trip to 2025 and recovered it just in time to stop Griff Tannen from vandalizing the time stream. Heavy. So that DeLorean... It's for all intents and purposes the exact same machine as the original. Plus or minus little bells and whistles I've added over the years, of course. So, what were you doing in 1931 anyway? Oh, nothing terribly exciting. Indulging in a little personal nostalgia, picking up a few rare out-of-print books to surprise Clara on her birthday, solving a historical mystery or two. The usual. Usual? You lead a pretty unusual life, Doc. It's an unusual universe, Marty. I hate to tell you, Doc, but your last time departed display is on the fritz. It is? So how did you find me? I found one of Edna Strickland's shoes in the DeLorean. How did one of her shoes get in the DeLorean? Einstein took it from her. He did? How strange. Einie almost never attacks people. Not without a good reason, anyway. How'd you wind up in jail in 1931, anyway? During my trip to the past, I decided to look into one of Hill Valley's unsolved mysteries. The fire at the speakeasy. Exactly. I thought I was safely hidden across the street. But when the fire started, there was a tremendous explosion, and I was knocked unconscious by a stray brick. When I woke up, I was here, in jail, charged with arson. That's horrible. I know. Worse yet, I still don't know who started the fire. Guess who I bumped into at the soup kitchen? My grandfather. No! Don't worry, I didn't talk to him or change his future or anything. Good. I wish I could, though. This era's tannin is treating him like dirt. Don't worry. If history plays out as it's supposed to, he'll soon be out from under Kit Tannen's thumb and free to live out his life as a humble accountant with your grandma. What was her name again? Sylvia. Right, Sylvia. What's the story with this Kid Tannen jerk anyway? Biff's father? By this time next year, he'll be pulling down a life sentence in San Quentin. There was even a song about it. Wait, if Biff will be born in 1938, and Kid will be in prison... As I recall, he escaped from prison in 1937 for about three hours. That's a busy three hours. No kidding. Hang in there, Doc. 
Not the best choice of words, Marty. Take a powder, Matches. You got it, boss. Well? So, one more thing about that hat. You're testing my patience, boy. I sure could go for some peanuts. Lucky for you, I'm in a giving mood. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! What'd you do? a monkey out of Kid Tannen. Hey! Ow! Fix me up! Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out! Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy, can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Where is he going? Only one way to find out. Huh, deja vu. I know! Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We've got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the, the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, oh, right. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. Some other time. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches.
think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! You're only making it worse for yourself. The longer you stay up there, the longer I'm gonna take evacuating your guts! Eviscerating. That's what I said. So if you know what's good for you... Einstein, help! Yeah, lay off! Get away from me, you crazy mutt! Go, go away, dog! We're busy here! Go on, scram! Hey! Where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot! What now? What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's Kid! Right away, boss! Ah, uh, where's Kid? I don't want to record them right now. Uh, Arthur. Hmm. Maybe I should have led with the subpoena. What now? Kid, I hope Arthur's still oh, where I left him. Arthur McFly, yeah, got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into Kid Tannen. Take it back. You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? 
So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You turn to the reaction. I'll try to get rid of him. Tend to the what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Hey, man! Uh, coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father! <laughs> have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? <laughs> Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! <laughs> Galileo's rotations! Do you ever listen to yourself? Nothing but overblown bags of gas. If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Stop being such a crank! A room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building. A good start! You want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Okay, you and your dad sounded. It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We. No! Oh, what? Eureka! All we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill, and you and, and I can. I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Sonny, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Oh, in about, I'd say. I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's uh, somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. Uh, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Come on, start. supposed to be... Duck! 
They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. Paddy wagon intercepted, suspect slain, and they're still after him. But how am I gonna rescue him now? The rocket part came out of this in one piece. All right, I'm coming, Doc. Get you out of here. What's that? I said you're still in danger. Never mind, never mind. Get me out of here and we'll talk later. doing here keys the window shut tight How many bullets has he got in that thing? Situation!
Look! Are you okay? I'm fine. But I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Great Scott!